One week after a Butler County dry cleaner closed, customers are still leaving notes on the door saying, where are my clothes? Consumer reporter John Matteris gets to the bottom of this, but first, more Equifax problems, John. Yeah, Kristen, we reported on this earlier in the newscast, but we wanted to know how serious it really is. We're talking about another breach at Equifax. Fortunately, it appears this one is much less dangerous than the massive breach in August. Security sites say a malicious pop-up appeared on Equifax's site yesterday, saying your flash player needed an update. Well, the pop-up contained malware. But luckily, only a handful of people clicked on that pop up and downloaded it. Please don't download surprises like that. Just when gas prices were sliding back down to the $2 level, oh, there they go again, right back up. Several non your side viewers in both Ohio and Kentucky Facebook messaged me today saying that pump prices have jumped to 245 again, a 25 cent jump in many areas. Gasbuddy.com blames tight inventories as Houston refineries struggle to get back online after the recent hurricanes. Well, last week, nine on your side was the first to report that a popular Butler County dry cleaners had suddenly closed. Now, the owner promised to get everyone their clothing, but tonight it turns out many of them are still waiting. It's been one week since Martinizing of Westchester unexpectedly shut its doors. Uh, actually, they left the doors wide open. The owner promised to get everyone their clothing within a few days. No, no clothes at all, no bedspread. But customers like Cindy Powell and her kids are still looking in the windows asking, where's my stuff? Came to pick it up and the doors were shut. The counters were removed. The insides were completely empty. Didn't get a call, didn't get a word that they were closing. Last week, we reported that the Route 747 business closed with things in shambles and clothing everywhere. And well, now the building has been cleared out, leaving Cindy asking where her $300 bedspread is. So you just like some answers at this point? I would. Um, no return calls. He's got um, my merchandise that's worth $300. I want you to take a look at this. Some customers are growing so frustrated that they're now leaving business cards and notes on the building saying, where are my clothes? So none of your side tracked down owner Dion Mack, who you see here in footage from last week. He told me by phone that he is calling everyone he has a phone number for. He says customers can stop by this Saturday, October 14th, from 1 to 4 p.m., and he will try to make everyone right. Cindy says she hopes so. She can't afford a whole new bedroom set. Yeah, it'd be pretty pricey. On WCPO.com, read my report on what's expected to be the hottest toy this holiday season. Can you guess what it is? And why prices on it are already jumping one month before Black Friday. You'll find the story on WCPO.com and on my John Matteris Money Facebook page. You don't waste your money, Kristen. Craig?